My name is Judy Thompson, and back in the early 70s when we moved to Cincinnati, um, our daughter was four years old, and Christmas time was coming up, and we were going to go back to Iowa for Christmas. So we flew back to Iowa, and they were very nice to us on the plane and at the airport, and we got to Chicago where we had to change planes. We got off the plane, and we had to rush to our next plane, and our daughter saw Santa Claus. And Santa was going a different direction than we were going, and she started just screaming, and she wanted to, she says, Santa Claus is there. I've got to tell him we're going to be in Des Moines. He'll, he'll go to Cincinnati. i got to tell him we'll be in Des Moines. We said, honey, we got to go. We'll, be, we'll make sure that Santa knows, but we got to go because we got to catch the next plane. So we got to the next plane. What she didn't know is that we had a whole bunch of gifts in a great big suitcase that we were shipping with our suitcases to Des Moines. We got to Des Moines, we got to the family. Santa was there at the airport in Des Moines, thank goodness, and he said, I know, it, she said, I got I missed you when we saw you before, but we're gonna be in Des Moines. And he said, I know that, honey, and you'll get your presents. And we got back to the baggage claim, and there was a luggage strike in Chicago, and our luggage didn't come through. So here we are, we're in Des Moines. She knows that Santa knows she's there, only the presents are back in Chicago. In fact, we saw on TV the luggage strike going on. We, we didn't see our bag, but we saw all those other bags sitting there. So great relief. About six hours after we arrived in Des Moines, day before Christmas, we got the message that the bags were there and they would be delivering the baggage to my aunt and uncle's home where we were staying. And so she got her presents. It was a lovely, wonderful Christmas, but there were some panicky moments for a while.